what you need to be asking yourself, what you need to be asking yourself, after you have determined your annual equivalent of our monthly balance of remuneration, okay, which we determine it before we applying the table, which is our normal tax table, our rebate, our, our, our medical aid to de, de, our medical tax credit to determine our tax that is payable. We then, after we have obtained the tax that is payable, we then have to consider the annual amount, which means that the calculation now is made up of two parts if there's also annual amount okay so just take note of that if there's annual amount then the calculation will be into two parts or into two portion okay now that means that the two parts the first part will be a one calculation for employees tax um, on our annual equivalent of our balance of our remuneration that is excluding the annual payment remember the annual payment they are annualized which means that they are not in monthly basis whereas the second part of our calculation will then specifically be a calculation of our employee's tax on our annual equivalent of our balance of our remuneration as well as our annual payment. So we add the two up and then we'll determine the tax per table less our rebates, less our section 6 cap A credits as well as our our section six subsection uh, section six cap B subsection three look I okay so you need to understand that step by step approach now the difference between the tax payable for each calculation when you take the tax on our annual uh, annual payment minus the tax on the the, the, the the monthly basis will then give you the tax on our on our annual payment okay this is very 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 important okay so I think this will help you a lot as I've given you the step by step approach as, of how to go about determining our employees tax okay so you'll find that uh, step one would be to determine our, our, our annual equivalent of our monthly payment first and then you step two you'll determine the tax um, determine the tax on on, on using uh, step one figure as per our table then you net it by our section six rebate and our section um uh, section six cap a which is our tax credit as well as our section six cap b however the section six cap a and section six cap b have to be used in conjunction with paragraph nine subsection four of the fourth schedule now this is very very important for you to take into consideration because it have the provisos that actually explain as to how then do we go about claiming these credits okay then step three will be to add the annual equivalent determined in step one to the annual payment after that what you then have to do is to determine the tax on this amount and then net your section 6 rebates as we did in step one okay and the other thing that you then have to do which is step five and then is to find the, the tax on the annual payment for example maybe a leave pay or it could be the 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 the, the 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 bonus depending on the situation so once you have found the difference between the two then you can actually sum up the tax per month on the first figure uh, along with the tax per month on the on the second figure 